proven mathematical theorems, right? But the hard part is you have to actually apply the math you learn in the context of business, right? And that gets really complicated. You could take a simple math formula and make it super complicated by putting it in complex contextual situations, you know, like finance and stuff like that, okay? But uh, we're not going to be going too in-depth. We're going to give you just enough to get, you know, your minds wrapped around some of these concepts, rates of change and things like that. Okay. That's going to give you a teaser right there. Uh, all right, we got it recording. Let's just turn that off. I don't need to see me. There we go. All right, nobody zoomed in. That's okay. We're recording the lecture. So, to recap, don't put the my in the email. If you're emailing me, that's a student account, and that goes for all of your professors, right? If you put a my in there, they'll never get it. And use your UTSA email account when emailing me because the software system, if you email me from like a Gmail or something, it, it will quarantine that. It's going to think it's spam or has a virus or something, so I might not get it. All right. Yes, sir. I don't know. Well, some of us are students as well as teachers, or some of us used to be students. You see what I mean? So that's why some of us have student accounts as well. And for some reason, IT can't fix this. It's like an impossibility. That's what happens when you use Microsoft products. You know, you get stuck with 10 different options and none of them are the one you want. Okay. So anyhow, those two things, this is important and this is important. All right. So back to the syllabus. And there we go. My name. There's my office. It's in the FLM building. It used to be called the science building. So when I came back last year to teach and I found there was like eight science buildings, I couldn't find my office because they renamed it to the Flan something building. Uh, I, I think I found it. Uh, we have this ombudsman. This is new this, this year. So if you have like an issue with the course or with me, like if you don't feel comfortable, like talking to me about it, that would be the person you go to to go over my head, basically. Hopefully you won't have to do that, all right? I'm pretty approachable, okay? Um, that's for all of our, our classes, okay? So course syllabus is a general plan for the course. Deviations announced to the class by an instructor may be necessary. Again, uh, technology is evolving. You know, we got COVID coming in and out, so how we, manage our courses it changes each semester so again things change a little bit like last semester we had exams outside the classroom but now we have to move them into the classroom so your your midterm exams will have to take them in the class all right they'll still be online all right but you have to come to class to do it online okay um so here's the dates for our midterms and the final exam. Uh, here's your grading scale. So apparently we have like A's and A pluses and A minuses. I used to not have that. I used to just be, you know, A, B, C, D, E, F. But now you can get these pluses and minuses. I guess I affect your GPA a little bit here. Um, so we're going to have these weekly uploads. Um, there's two things going on there with the weekly uploads, all right? You're going to be using My Math Lab. Have you all used this before? Anybody not used this My Math Lab before? All right, so you'll have to make an account with them, and then you'll have to pay, you have to pay the, I forget how much it is, for the digital textbook and their automated homework system, all right? So our book is purely digital. It's online. It's in My Math Lab. This is a Pearson product, okay? So these weekly uploads, it's only 5% of your grade, okay? So half of that is basically when you're doing the homework online, you're going to be, you're going to need scratch work, right? As you're working the math problems, right? You don't just look at it and go, I know the answer. You write stuff down as you're trying to figure out the answer, right? So that's half of it, right? That's basically your My Math Lab scratch work. That's 2.5% of your weekly upload. Um, the other 2.5%, there, there's like homework. Uh, let's see here. I can find it over here. Weekly uploads. Uh, 
So there's the written homework. That's basically what you're doing when you're doing my math lab, your notes, if you're doing the my math lab homework. The guided notes, there's an actual document here that you download. It's like a homework assignment. All right, so you fill it out. Uh, do we have a grader that's going to grade those? So that way we get to see some of your actual written work instead of just the automated homework online. You know, we need to be able to make sure you know how to read and write mathematics. So we want to see how you write your math down. Yes, sir. Yes, that's right. So right here you see there's three, one, three, two, and three, three. It shows up for guided notes and for the written homework, right? So for the written homework here, there's nothing to download. You're just going to upload in a PDF format, all right, your, your, your scratch work when you're doing the My Math Lab, okay? And then the guided notes, you'll download this PDF, fill it out, and then upload it filled out. Yes. <clears throat> But say what? Thirteen. Oh, what the hell? So do you have these way down here for some reason, huh? Yeah, we're gonna be doing that at the end of the semester. Let's see. Um, oh, this item is hidden from students. Okay, here. Let's uh, make. No, nope, that made it unavailable. Crap. Make available. So I just made it available. Why is it still hidden from students? Mm. Let me see. This is my second semester using Blackboard. Can, they use Canvas over in Orlando Vista. Of course, next semester they're getting rid of Blackboard and going to Canvas here. So I learned all of this Blackboard stuff for nothing. So let's see. There's got to be a button here. It might not, it, because we haven't covered these sections yet, this might be the due date, August 29th. That's not going to fly. Uh, let's see. What is today's the 28th? These, these these written homework and guided notes will basically be due on Sunday nights. So each week, that's why they're called weekly uploads, right? So it'll be due by Sunday night. So let's, let's, let's change the change that right now. So today's the 18th. So we're gonna do another week from today. So that that'll be the 30th of January. Maybe that's why it's not showing up. Thirtieth of January. Oops, January thirtieth. Boom. So yeah, end of the you have two attempts. There's two attempts. All right, in case you screw up uploading it incorrectly. All right, and the key here is you want these to be uploaded in PDF format. We don't want Microsoft Word. We don't want JPEG. They have to be in PDF format and they have to be in one PDF file. All right. So you might have multiple pages for your scratch work, right? You need to take that and turn it into one single PDF file. Otherwise, the grader will not grade it. All right. Because the grader has like 600 of y'all. And if it's not in that exact format, in that exact way, it becomes a pain in the ass. Right. Instead of being able to grade it in 10 seconds, it takes them three minutes to rotate it because students turn stuff in sideways, right? Or it just won't load. So they have to like get a different computer. So it has to be PDF format and it has to be on one file. All right. And if you don't know how to do that, talk to your classmates. All right. Or hit the tutoring lab. You'll figure out how to do it. There's lots of different ways to do it. Like if you have an iPhone, you just did your homework on a piece of paper. I think you can just use the note app, regular old notes. All right, it allow you to take put photos in there. You can insert photos and then export it to a PDF and then upload it. All right, so you have the technology to do this. Okay, so make sure you do that. If you don't do that, you won't get any credit. All right, a lot of school is just simply following the directions. Right, so once you get that worked out and you know how to do it easily, then it's not a problem. Again, you get two attempts. All right, just because in case you accidentally uploaded the wrong file or something, you can fix that. You can upload it a second time. So you only get two attempts. Okay. Um, 
There we go. Make the assignment available. We want to make it available now, right now. Now, now, now. Uh, what's today? 18. Display until. All right, where's our due date? It said January 30th at midnight. All right, so that's the day it's due, so it'll disappear. All right. So I'll have to look at all, all of these and make sure they have the right dates. So in class, they might have to remind me. I will forget. So this whole course here is, was given to me by the course coordinator. So I just imported it from their course, right? Some things don't import correctly, as you can see. All right. So if something's missing, let me know so I can fix it in class. So that's one of them, right? That was the guided notes. Yeah. So let's fix this one real quick. Uh, so the due date, January 30th. Come on, play this. January 30th by midnight. You could do multiple two attempts. We may to make it available today, right? So this day's like the 18th. All right, and uh, we'll display it until the due date. May 30th. Yeah. Now that should show up for all y'all. All right. Again, these are for the first three sections we're going to cover. Uh, so you might want to might look at the guided notes ahead of time. You know what I mean? You probably do them in class, right? Make you through class time. Yes. Yeah, you're gonna have to yell at me, but I I, I kind of heard you. Um, the, these aren't gonna be due this Sunday. They're gonna be due the next Sunday. All right. Yeah, because the, 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 the first two days are just kind of getting to know one another and getting all the all right things worked out. So, all right. if if you can't hear me in the back of the room, please let me know. All right, y'all can hear me okay. All right, cool. All right, so there's your weekly uploads. Y'all know what to do with those now. Again, those are only 5%, 2.5% for the, the guided notes and 2.5% for the written work. So it's not a whole lot, but it is enough to make a difference, okay? So make sure you do those, get them on, done on time. My Math Lab homework, all right? So before the end of the day, make sure that you have your My Math Lab account, that you've logged in and all that stuff. Uh, has anybody logged into My Math Lab or seen the course yet? All right, you've logged it, so you, you actually see this course in your My Math Lab. Did you need the course ID or something like that? How did it work for us? Okay. Yeah, okay. So you did the access for 14 days, right? So, and that's like free? So yeah, you're, you, but you have to pay for the uh, whatever that is. You can, you can pay for it online because after the 14 days, it will it'll, it'll kick you out of the course. You see what I mean? So for now, you could do the 14-day free thing until you get the money to pay for. I don't know how much it is. It's too much, however much it is. Yes. Oh, in my math lab? I haven't gotten there yet. Why is it the guy who asked the most questions is sitting the furthest away from me? <laughs> yes, sir. So there's no ambiguity or getting lost or anything like that. That's good. Okay. Awesome. So 75 bucks. All right. Yes. The the guided notes and the written notes, those will be due on Sundays, right? All right. Well, the my math lab is separate, right? Let's see if I can get there from here. So the blackboard, you should be able to click on my math lab and see if this thing will load. And we'll look at this together. Um, the homework uh, due dates for these assignments in my math lab is going to be different uh, depending on what section it is, right? Because as we cover material, right, there'll be new homework assignments due uh, at different due dates. All right, so you'll have to pay attention inside of 
my math lab. So there's the guided notes, written notes, that's separate from my math lab, right? But in my math lab, this is where you have the automated online homework, you know, where you're doing math, entering answers. Let's see if I could find assignments here. So here's three, one, three, two, three, three. I don't know, because I got this course from the course coordinator. So we'll see how well it transfers as far as due dates and stuff. So yeah, here we go. Section 3.1, it says the start date is uh, January 17th. So it opened up yesterday and it's due by the 23rd. Okay, so all three of these, 313233 are all due by the 23rd. All right, so what is today? 18th, so there's five days. I might change that because that's just too quick, right? Well, it depends. I, I, I forget what those sections are. They might be simple sections like review and stuff. So for these chapter three stuff, I'd get on that now because they're due pretty quick and they're gonna, it's, it's gonna be review material. So it's gonna be math that you should already know, okay? So get started on that ASAP. Uh, it will do on the 23rd here. So pay attention to my math lab. Pay attention to the due dates and the stuff that's coming up, right? Um, so you have everything up through 11.2 is already open, right? No, not the 23rd yet. So anyhow, you have chapters 3, 1 through 3, 3 is open and available. Get started on that. All right. So we'll try to cover that by through Friday, I guess. And then the next week we'll start on 3.4. Uh, we might, you know, we might fall a little behind at some times. All right. There's a schedule somewhere in our syllabus. Let's see. I think so. Yeah, here's a down at the bottom of the syllabus, there's a schedule, right? We might get ahead of ourselves we might fall behind at times okay so this is a rough base fail and i'm going to try to skip stick to this calendar right but we might fall behind at times if we do i'll adjust the due dates in my math lab accordingly okay so i might have to change it to give you all a few more days here or there okay what i've learned from last semester was it was really hard to do the review so I kind of just did a little bit and then skipped the rest because it's math that you already know that we should keep up. Uh, but then in, later on in the semester, we'll end up covering like one section for like two weeks, the hard sections that are really difficult. I might spend a whole lot of time on just one section. Like, so I try to get ahead a little bit so that when we get to the hard stuff, we can take our time on that. So, all right, let's go back up here. So the homework in my math lab is worth 15% of your grade. And this is my math lab quizzes. So you're also going to have quizzes in here. You can see, like, here's quiz number one is on February 3rd. All right. So there are quizzes also inside of my math lab. And you don't have to do those in class. The exams will be in class, but the quizzes you can do outside of class. Okay. The, qu the quizzes, I think the way they work is. Uh, see how it says start 6 a.m. Like you have to take it that day. You see, like the homework you can do any day you want leading up to the due date, right? But the quiz, it'll open up that day at 6 a.m. and then it'll close later that day, like at 6 p.m. So you'll have to log in and I think it's limited, like you'll have like an hour to do the quiz, right? So once you start it, you have like an hour to do it. You see what I mean? I think, I think that's how the quizzes work. We'll find out more as we, depending on if they change things from last semester. Do you have a question? Okay. So the quizzes are a little different than the homework. Again, they'll open up on a particular day. You'll have a window, like 12 hours or something. Once you log in and start the quiz, you'll have like an hour to finish it. Something like that. Okay. That's how it works. Uh, and the quizzes are worth 15%. There are midterm exams. I think there's three of them. They're worth 45%. So that's a whole lot, right? Your final exam is cumulative. It'll cover everything we've covered the whole semester. Um, if you look over here, there's these exam retries. All right. So you'll take the exams in my math lab, right? You'll come to class on exam day, log in on your laptop, right? Log into my math lab, take the exam during class time, all right? And then later, if, if you didn't like your grade or whatever, you can do the exam retry. But the retry is a lot harder. It's not, uh, 
it's not my math lab. It's an actual written exam where you have to show all your work and all that. It's not going to be no multiple choice thing like in my math lab, right? My math lab typically like pick your choice, like, you know, some of them are multiple choice, some you have to enter in a number, right? But you don't have to show any work, right? So the my math lab is typically going to be easier than an old school written exam, right? So hopefully you'll do well enough on the exam in my math lab where you won't want to take the weekly or the exam retry because I hate grading them. It takes a lot of time for me to grade them. So typically out of a class this size, I usually have seven or eight people that do the exam retry. Sometimes, typically because they just totally missed the exam day, they just didn't show up and take the exam, right? Oh, yeah. Even though you didn't have to show up last semester, y'all actually have to show up and take it in class. So anyhow, try not to have to take the exam retry. It is significantly more difficult. So I try to do well on the my math lab exam. But again, just in case, like if you have COVID or something and you can't make it for exam day, right? You can do the exam retry. I don't know if they if it says anything in here about that. Uh, down here, weekly uploads, exams. Let's see. Exams are in class during the appropriate class period. 50 minutes, my map lab, bring your laptop. Or if you don't have a laptop or tablet, I, I don't know if there's a loaner program here or not. Yes, sir, there should be. There is? All right. So there is a loaner program if, if you don't have a laptop. Um, exams work outside a classroom. Get no credit. Okay. So how are we doing this? There will be a sign out sheet for each exam. So on exam day, you come in, do your my math lab, take the test. On your way out, you'll sign a sheet. That way I'll know that you were here, right? Because if you try to use my math lab to take your test and not be here, and your name's not on that sign-in sheet, I'll know, and you won't get any credit for the exam. See what I mean? They want you here taking the exam this semester. Uh, or, yeah, only calculators on the approved list are allowed for exam. So, yeah, you can use your calculator. You can download. I mean, I, I'm okay with you using your phone because calculators are stupid. You can just download the calculator app, right? Like, spend $80 on a calculator, right? And you're going to be using your laptop, right, to get into my math lab. So, uh, Pretty much you can use any software you want. You know, all business majors don't need to carry. How many business people ever seen carrying around a calculator? <laughs> all right, this is, you didn't get any business done. All right, let's see. Exam, okay, there you go. Exams are multiple choice. So in the my math lab, exams are going to be a lot easier. Multiple choice is always easier. You know, you have a 25% chance of getting it right if you know absolutely nothing. So. No makeup for any exams except as outlined in the hop link here. I don't know what hop is. We'll have to look at that. So if you need a makeup exam, let's see what this says. I wanted to know how they were doing makeup exam. I don't want to read all this. Handbook of operating. I'm not going to read all that. I'll look at it. I'll just ask my course coordinator how to do a makeup exam. Um, they didn't say much there. Like, if you're really sick and you have like a doctor's note, you know, something like that, then uh, uh, before I say anything more, I'll ask the course coordinator to find out the details about the makeup exam. Hopefully, we won't have makeup exams, right? We have to be here get it done so final exam do not miss the final exam all right here's your date and the day in this classroom so, okay here's your written exam retries so you will have the opportunity to retry each midterm exam but the format will be different they are free response on paper and optional so you don't have to take the exam retry all right in fact please don't because <laughs> i don't want to have to grade it all right only calculators on the approved list are allowed no makeup for any exams. Okay, except in the hop, whatever that means. 
Okay, this is what they're doing. The exam retries, they're gonna be held on Saturday after the initial exam is scheduled. So if we have a, a, a exam in my math lab during the week and you didn't like your grade, you can do the exam retry, but you have to come in on Saturday. So that'll suck, right? That's how they're doing it. That's how they do it. So all the business calculus classes, anybody that wants to take the exam retry will show up on a Saturday. And I don't know where they don't say here yet. But I think they're still trying to get a room. All right. And there is no retry for the final exam. Want, want, want. Yeah, get one try for the final. Okay. And there's our schedule. Um, So spring, this is spring semester. Uh, here's a quick tip. I, I was a student here for 15 years full time. Right? So I learned a whole lot about being a student. The eight of those, I was also uh, a teacher. Uh, if you're going to take your hard classes, the hard classes, take them in the spring, not the fall. All right. I had trouble passing like two classes in the fall, but I could pass like seven in the spring. Because if you think about where the holidays are placed in the spring semester, you have a holiday at the very beginning of the semester before you've actually covered anything, you know? So that's not really helpful for catching up on learning. And then you don't have any holidays at all until Thanksgiving. And it's not like you're gonna get to study because you have to deal with your family. They show up from all around the country and they bring you every cold and flu there is and make you sick just in time for final exams, right? That's fall, like spring, we, we have like a holiday coming up and then right in the middle of the semester, you have spring break to catch up on your studies, right? There's just all these perfectly placed uh, holidays to help you catch up on your studies, right? So if you ever overload your courses or like you have your hard classes, take the spring semester, semester to take them. All right, so that's just a tip. Uh, let's see, what else do I need to know? If y'all are gonna listen to me all semester, you should probably know a little bit about who who's talking, right? So I have a bachelor's in computer science, a master's in applied math, and a master's in theoretical physics. I dropped out of college just for getting my PhD. Uh, I, just, I needed to do my dissertation in one class. Basically, I ended up getting divorced. I was burnt out. I, I built a corporation for uh, free informal math and science education. It used to hold me a lot of politics here. But I just totally burned out, took way too much Adderall, got divorced, severe depression, dropped out of teaching, dropped out of the PhD program, turned into a drug addict, lost everything in my life, everything. Went to prison, that sucks, don't go to prison. Got out, got my life back together, rebuilt everything from scratch. And so now I'm back uh, and kicking ass again, so it's nice. So wherever you're at in life, no matter how bad things are, you can turn it around, all right? no matter how bad things are. Things were real bad for quite a while there. I didn't think I was gonna survive for sure, but I managed to hang in there. Now I'm back in the PhD program. I'm gonna finish up that eventually. Uh, teaching, I teach full-time here and part-time at North Lake Vista. And I have a little girl. Let's see if I got a picture. She's so adorable. She's, she just turned two, so this picture is a little outdated. And apparently, Cute. Let's see if I can fix this. Copy. Nope. Yeah, not like that. So that's Lily. That's my daughter. That's my entire life right now. All right. Why I'm here. So uh, that's me. You have any questions about me? Anything you want to know? Right. Yes. Hmm? Star Wars. Well, the Mandalorian new season's coming out soon, right? I'm looking forward to watching that. I watch a I watch a lot of TV. I've seen everything on Netflix and Hulu and Disney Plus and Amazon Prime. Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know anything about that one. Yeah. Uh, I'm rewatching uh, what is it? Uh, Arrested Development. I guess the show on Netflix. Take this time around. Yeah. Yes. 
The what? The, the comedy it has a lot of Jason Bateman in it and uh, a whole lot of other name brand actors. It's just, yeah, it ended quite a while back. And it's a shame they took the office off of Netflix. But. So I guess that's it. Let's, uh, we only have 10 minutes here. Let's look at the book real quick. I want to make sure y'all can get to the book. So I think over here under e text, I'll hit this and view the e text. So, some kind of Pearson, this company, I hate my math lab. I absolutely hate it. They charge way too much. Uh, sometimes their website goes down and you can't log in. All right. If that happens, you know, I'll extend due dates. Usually it works okay. You know what I mean? But like any software system, it is. There's a few bugs, all right? Um, we're trying to go to WebWorks, which is like a free version of it, where we have our own server. So we run our own server of WebWorks. So we make our own homework problem and all that stuff. We do that in pre-cal. There's you know, some bugs and things we have to work out, but it saves our students like a quarter million dollars a year, all right? So hopefully, because it's a business class, it's hard to get example problems in the context of business, right? Those haven't really been made by anybody else yet to import into web work. So we'd have to create the whole course from scratch. So here's your book. Hopefully it'll load. So your assignment today is to make sure you get into web or my math lab. Let's call it your math lab. I don't want to claim credit for this software. It's your math lab. And start working on the homework 313233. Three, 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 three. Okay. Um, these notes here uh, I should write this down. All right, so homework. Log in to my math lab, all right? Start on three, one, three, two, and 3.3, because this is review stuff. You know this math already. And um, uh, down. Play it again. Down, load this week's guided notes. Right? Start working on it. On it. Right, we need to do that, do that. And uh, keep your written work. Right? which are your notes taken while doing my math lab homework, All right? So get started on three, one, three, two, three, three. Keep your notes, your written notes, because you'll need to upload them in the weekly upload. Start working on the guided notes, weekly upload. And uh, Friday, we will try to cover these three sections. All right, uh, review. All right, just review and simple stuff. I'll probably go through it pretty quickly. Okay. And that's it for today. Uh, I will see you all Friday. Oh, the, I will upload the video to YouTube right after class every day, and these notes will be available to you.